Ja, ich hallo Fürsche, Rizai, ich hab schon andere. Für Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. A film I do not appear in. Chapter 1. Jabba's Palace. Luke Skywalker has returned to his home planet of Tatooine in an attempt to rescue his friend Han Solo from the clutches of the vile gangster Jabba the Hutt. Little does Luke know that the Galactic Empire has secretly begun construction of a new armoured space station even more powerful than the dreaded Death Star. When completed, this ultimate weapon will spell certain doom for the small band of rebels struggling to restore freedom to the galaxy. There we go, that was my best Sean Connery, again, because... Le That's also not really a preface to this episode, or <laughs> to this level particularly. It's been bizarre because more... Uh, oh, there's the, 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 the completed Lego Death Star. The decision of the of the Empire to be like, oh, they blew up the Death Star, you know what we should do? Make another one, but bigger. And they repeat, I, and they repeat this plan, that. like, a thousand times, apparently. Like, one million times, Death yeah. Star 16.0. Here we go, our, our first look at... Oh no, not our first look, but... Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it just cracks me up, it just cracks you up, uh, it? Yeah. And I think this is when we see uh, Lego Ian McDermott for the first time. Isn't Vader already... Oh no, no, he, he doesn't turn up till later on. Vader arrives to get them back on schedule and be like, the Emperor is coming, and they're like, shit, we better get our act together. Yeah, yeah, it's Ian McDermott turns up later. Yeah, because the Emperor's only in... He's, he's not bodily in uh, mm -hmm. episode 5, is he? He's only in that... Um, the like weird voice call Skype. Correct the window. Correct the window. When he when he zooms Vader, make this up to date. Again, like the start of this, like so. For those who haven't watched Return of the Jedi recently, it is a stupidly paced film. In that, like we, we yep. get to Endor before the halfway mark. It, it's the pacing of Return of before the quarter way oh, mark. It's, it's, we timed it. It was like thirty five it, minutes. It's, it's crazy. It's all, it's, in a two and a half hour film. It's crazy. Like you you get to Endor so early, and like the Jabba's Palace stuff is such a good pacey action packed start. And then you're, I think you're yeah, if, any, if anything, that's what gets years. me. That's what gets me is the beginning of this film is fantastic. Like it, it genuinely does open really well. Get you interested and stuff like that, and then it's like, ah, yes. Well, in the bin goes all that pacing. It's so, it's ah, so strange. Being shot by that, especially thing. given that like Empire must have been like and was a huge success, and it's a very, as we've discussed, a very yeah. pacey, very action-packed, very efficiently and economically constructed film. And then it, yeah, every, but all as, goes in the bin. As you know, though, <laughs> past success in Star Wars is no measure of future <laughs> success. <laughs> Partly because there's also there's. The more I think of this, the the more you realise there's there's very little actually really threads in common among the Star Wars films. Like there's no other than a few actors, there's no like necessarily common like directors or writers other than maybe George Lucas, but his involvement is unclear. It's like the reason I think the Star Wars films are so variable is because they are so variable. Like there's it's not like say Lord of the Rings, where they're all done by the same production crew, where all yeah. Peter Jackson, Fran Walsh, and Philippa what's her name, and stuff. it's like it's all the same people. I mean, okay, that's a weird example because that was all done at the same time. Um, but oh, 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 that's quite that's quite scary. I don't remember. I don't remember that being in this scene. No, Do you? No, I don't, I don't even. I. Like I don't even know things? what that is. I've been watching Star Wars media and comic books and like games my entire life, and I have no idea what that thing is. I mean, I'm gonna go out on a limb on saying say it's a spider, but be beyond that, uh, admittedly, it's unclear. Ah, bounty hunter helmet, excellent. Oh, oh, it's the actual bounty hunter helmet that Leia wears to disguise herself in the film. Yeah. I okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm into this. Yep. And that means I can open bounty hunter doors. Oh, there, there's, there's ah, Luke! But he, sweet green sabered Luke. But he has his lightsaber, which makes no sense because... Yeah, when the fuck did he make that in the 20 minutes since the last film? Um, well, it's not 20 minutes, I think some time has supposedly have passed. But no, like, I think actually it is some time, not like... Oh, after weeks of Luke's tra Jedi training on Dagobah. Yeah, 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 I mean, who knows? I mean, I'm sure there is maybe a canon explanation somewhere. Like, viewership, if you know how long is Luke actually in canon on Dagobah training, we, we would be fascinated to know. Tell us in the comments. Are you, te are you telling me that LEGO Star Wars is not accepted Star Wars canon? <laughs> 
<laughs> this is bullshit. I don't remember the scene in Jabba's pa- like at the start of like Return of the Jedi where like Leia and Chewie spend twenty minutes storming Jabba's palace. I don't remember that scene. With spiders, apparently. Also, like <laughs> riding I, weird. I get another continuity error for these. Again, it's a contrivance to make the games work. But like Luke's lightsaber should be in R two right now. Because yeah. Do we not see it in Jabba's palace at all? No, do no, because he sends R two ahead of him. With three, R2 is yeah. going ahead of him and he's like, please accept this gift, these two droids. And 3 is like, what? Blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. 3 will freak out. And it turns out the whole reason he has done this, strangely, is to get his lightsaber into Jabba's palace. Even though he's a fucking Jedi master at this point, he could just have stormed yeah, the palace. Yeah, why could he not have just taken own. it? He could just have stormed the palace and yeah. killed everyone. But he doesn't do that. Yeah. Maybe that's not what good guys do. I don't know. But he does that anyway. He kills basically everyone involved in the palace eventually anyway, which seems to have been the, yeah, which, <laughs> which makes no sense because like it seems to have been his plan all along that he has to like surprise them and take his lightsaber from R two. So he always intended to kill them, but he just decides ah, uh, it makes no sense. You gotta make you go yeah you 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 gotta make him watch first. You gotta make him yeah get get him in the right state. Yeah. Luke's plan makes no sense in Return of the Jedi. Um, but that's fine. Yeah. Again, I, I don't need these movies to make that much sense. But by the same token, it's a stu- <laughs> good. <laughs> it's a it's a silly, silly plan. What the fuck? That's a that, that's oh, a, I can, oh I whoa, can actually throw first. Th- 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 he's holding a thermal I detonator. <laughs> I didn't realize I can I can throw them when I'm oh. Am I force choking? Oh my god! Look, he's gone to the field. He's gone to the dark great side. Great about now. that. Oh no. <laughs> well, that's dark. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, fuck. God. Oh, ow. Oh, they make a real pig squealy sound when you kill them. Do they really? I mean, I can't hear any of the, the audio, but... That may be for the best. So they're just choking these dudes out. Uh, I think they're coming from over here, so I want to try and stop anyone them. Anyone who's played because Star I'm not, Wars... I'm not feeling great about killing them in this Star fashion. Anyone who's played 2 knows that Gamorrean guards are the most unstoppable fighting force in the galaxy. Yeah, they were. Oh, Gamma Re- that was it. I could I couldn't think of it. I was like, I was like, I know it sounds like gonorrhea, but isn't gonorrhea. <laughs> I couldn't remember what they were called, so decided to say nothing. Ja- Jabba's like, right, I, need- Bapista, I will unleash my gonorrhea guards just <laughs> to have unprotected sex with you, young Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Right, in you go. Where? Where do I go? To the left. To the left, to the left. There's nowhere to go. I'm pretty sure there is. I mean, I guess that we use that. Right, follow me, follow me. So, up you go. Okay. Go on, up. Now, can you walk forwards and then left? Oh, no, you actually oh I can. Oh, yeah, oh, there you go. There. Okay. Yeah, and then drop off. Yeah, and that apparently opened that door. I really thought the. Oh. I really thought like, pulling these levers was going to open that door, but. Get the other lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Yeah. Wrong lever. I need to watch that again. Oh, now we need a fucking bounty hunter hat again. Jesus Christ. Ugh, there's a lot of backtracking here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So oh, because we can, we can use the thermal detonators to destroy this stuff. Yes. Which would be great if we had a bounty hunter hat. Oh, okay. I love that, like... But unfortunately, you lose them as if you're hit once. Seemingly, in this game, like, the bounty hunter's hats come equipped with thermal detonators in the headband of the hat. So that's cool. Yeah, that is... Ha- oh, no, there's a hat machine here. We're fine. There yeah, we that is a useful trait of them. Even though the thermal detonator, if you'll notice, is, is fucking bigger than the hat. Oh no, whoops. Ugh. Quality game, this. There we go. There you go. Excellent. Huh. Oh no. Oh, can I, can so, I as much as like we're, we're slagging off The Last, not the last Jedi, um, Return, of, Return the of the Jedi. These films have very similar names. Forgive us, viewership. But, yeah. Um, as much as we're slagging off Return of the Jedi, we actually did enjoy rewatching it, and like we were pretty drunk for the. I, was end. Like, I enjoyed yeah. it, but also it must be noted that I drank an entire bottle of Fireball, so yeah, I'd we have were, enjoyed we anything both. at that point. I think that was maybe the, the drunkest we've been collectively was watching Return of the Jedi. Yeah. We, nevertheless, we got a big fuck yeah moment when Vader throws the Emperor down that. Pit. Yeah, there's a lot I of mean, surprisingly satisfying moments in that film. That like that that film felt like whatever its its issues, it was an appropriate catharsis for a at that point of us watching six film trilogy. It's a decent catharsis to a three yeah. film trilogy, but for especially everything in the in the in the prequels, it is at least the payoff is pretty much there. I'll give it that. Yeah, there is there is good payoff. I mean, we have massive issues with the pacing, mm. like because that, the scene. I don't know. Again, go back and watch. Oh, 
go back and rewatch Return of the Jedi, everyone. But, yeah. um, a, that, that the scene with Luke and the Emperor goes on for like a thousand yeah, years. And, like, I, I, I made this joke at the time and I'll still make it now. It, it might as well, like, it wouldn't be any less subtle if the Emperor was literally there like, yes, this scene is still happening somehow. <laughs> Your friends have been dying for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> it feels like that nothing watching. but sit here. I bet people watching this film would quite like to see the compelling battle on Endor, but no, we are still here. It was like they show a bit of Endor, they show a bit of people dying, and then they just come back to the Emperor going, nah. and then that cycle repeats for about half an hour. On the subject of the battle on Endor, it's every bit as ridiculous as you remember it being. Like, because Palpatine makes this big deal, and they're like, I have sent a legion of my finest troops, and next time you see them, they're getting owned by fucking Furbies. Yeah. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. And he goes out of his way to talk up how dangerous this legion is, and how, like, they're his finest troops. It, it, it's just embarrassing. What the fuck is this? Oh, there's some nonsense going on here. Oh, we can, we can build things. We right? can build things, and there's like a a, a directional thing here. And oh, we move this now. Three people oh, in like a okay. in like a fish tank. Yeah, and there's a gonk droid stuck underneath him. There's a lot of weird shit going on. I think we need to get three people out of there so he yeah, can yeah. stand on the on the fourth box. Really? Do you think we need to get three people out? That was. Look, I'm trying to help. Yeah, no, that was that was unnecessarily cold. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know we need to get R two out of this one. Fucking get away from me, gonk droid. So we can push okay. this, I think we push this floaty thing over towards R2, then we can jump up. Oh yeah, yeah, right. I, did, I kind of thought we had R2 with us. Uh, oh. No, that thing oh, moves, that's oh, what they, that, yeah, there oh. we go, now it's, now it's clicked, yeah. Now we know. Oh, now we know we now. Know. <laughs> <laughs> now we know. I, 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 I still love Mitchell don't, I, love I, Mitchell I could not tell you why that scene is, that sketch is so funny, but it just cracks me up every time. <laughs> so for those who aren't aware, like, we're referring to that Mitchell and Webb look who are two British comedians who have a very funny sketch show, which I think is it's on the UK Netflix. I'm not sure if it's Yeah, which isn't going to help our 70% American viewership. Oh, but. really? It's mostly your, it's your viewership mostly American? Yeah, 70%. Oh, I'm suddenly much more conscious. Well, well my... welcome to the internet as a whole. This is quite cool. Oh my god, are they, are they just like playing like guitar, air guitars with their axes? I almost feel bad about killing them. And also, the, the you, you can't tell, but like a metal version of the Imperial March was playing at that point. Oh, Ooh. I was going to say like a punk rock band comprised only of Gamorians. Yeah, pretty much. You're well, be... You'll see when you when, when this airs in like a month's time. <laughs> you'll get to see experience that with the full acoustic soundscape it was designed with. Oh, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it already. I mean, I always look forward to these videos. <laughs> You're because, looking because... forward to watching back the thing you've already played. Yeah. But that's always the joy of watching back something you recorded when drunk, is you watch back and be like, actually, this is surprisingly good. That was weirdly yeah. high-pitched. Actually, this is surprisingly good. Was that your yeah. manly Was that your manly voice? Like, actually, no, that's just mine. This, actually, this was surprisingly good. Waka oh, capucci solo. Ho, ho, yeah. ho. Is that, I think like Jabba's voice is actually like ridiculously high pitched and he's just massively overcompensating. He's like, <laughs> hey, hey, fetch me a beer. <laughs> all, 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 all those slave girls. That fetch me a light thing. American beer. Yeah. Cold American beer. Now, guys, obviously, like, we mean no disrespect to cool American beers, but none of them have the nutritional or the mind sharpening power of a glass of Quantro. Drink responsibly. I like how. The the, 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 the the adjective you keep coming back to is mind sharpening, <laughs> which is fascinating. That's a description of a strong alcohol. Oh, you've been killed. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh -oh. I mean, are you still. No, I can't, what are you seeing I can't. on your end? Uh, I can still. I'm still in oh, the game. Oh, I think game. it's literally you are, you are far enough away. Oh, um, no. This could be a technical Where's everyone gone? There we go, you're a, fine. This could be a technical difficulty thing. Are you back? Nope. Oh no. Oh no, right, hang, on, hang on, I can fix it. I have the power, I have the technology to do this. I listened to a really interesting, I recommend this podcast here actually, it's a really good podcast called Behind the Bastards, where they take obscure figures from history who are just objectively some of the worst people who have ever lived and do like a deep dive into their lives. And it's absolutely fascinating. Hmm. So uh, they did one on... That does sound interesting. The reason I bring this up is like they did one on Elon Musk, who is a, a character, again, a character, and he is a character because he's a super villain. Yes. He's a, basically a super villain that I knew very little about. And like his life is unbelievable. The man is one laboratory explosion from actually becoming a super villain. It, it's mental. Yeah. I know there's some dodgy stuff where they're like, 
Oh, excellent. Ah, yes, I see there. Uh, like his, uh, his 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 family wealth comes from like potentially dodgy colonial era emerald mines in South Africa. I'm sure I've heard that before. Oh, it's really bizarre. So like his father was like a, an amateur like aviation guy. So like he flew planes just kind of for funsies. And um, he flew a plane into like Johannesburg, and when he landed in Johannesburg, he met on the runway, or so he claims, a group of Italians who wanted to buy a plane. So they, they bought this plane off him at like a ludicrous price, okay? And then immediately said, hey, we're just giving you a bunch of money. Do you want to own a 50% share in an emerald mine? And he was like, yeah! So he gave them their money back and purchased a 50% share in an emerald mine, and that is where his family's wealth comes from. Jesus, yeah, I knew there was something dodgy like that. And it's like, that doesn't sound sketchy <laughs> at all, Elon. That does, th those men definitely yeah. were upstanding members of society. And hey! we are back, viewership of the infamous gentleman. The technical issues which plague the Doctor and the Bard have once again been overcome by our collective might and intelligence. And and, and your 15-year-old laptop, which I think is really the crux of these sustained yeah. technical I, difficulties. I, I'm, not, I'm not a technology guy. I'm a man of letters, not a man of numbers and, like, cold, hard laptop silicon chips. I can, I can, I can believe that, having yes. seen your laptop. Speaking of silicon chips, we were ha just having a off-air because we were trying to fix things and we are also chatting at the same time. We were having a very interesting discussion about Elon Musk. Because the internet has some strong opinions about Elon, and yeah. Well, the internet weirdly loves him, I think, because they, th they think he's Tony Stark. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, when it, we, we take the opposite approach in that we think he's a remarkable individual, but like, is nevertheless, he's more Lex Luthor than Tony Stark, but yeah. Well, he's, he's, he's Tony Stark, in, including all, all the war crimes that Tony Stark does. <laughs> 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 Shit. He's... he's like, there's, there's a reason why Tony Stark is, is... I don't like the character of Tony, Tony Stark, but he is a decent example of a morally problematic, perhaps, character, as in designed oh, to be as such. Tony, in the Marvel movies, like, they never really explore properly Tony's alcoholism and the horrible, horrible things it makes him do. I mean, they tried is... to do that in, in, in Iron Man 2 and 3, but, but yeah, boy, did barely, they, they fail barely, that. Barely, barely. Yeah. I, I think I really, really wanted, and it was an absolute pipe dream, because, of course, the MCU was never going to... Con Include this film, but I really, really wanted before they cancelled it, like a buddy, a buddy comedy movie of Jessica Jones and Tony Stark overcoming their collective alcoholism. I would watch <laughs> the ever-loving shit out of that movie. Is it worth watching Jessica Jones? I tried, I started it twice, and it never hugely grabbed me. Is it worth did, persevering with? Did you get to David Tennant's entrance into the series? Yes. Did you know? It was just a lot of him shouting, Jessica. That's all I really remember from it. Oh, I mean, I think he's very, very good in it, but the show is very average outside of David Tennant. Um, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. I got two other seasons after he was gone. Or, so, yeah. sorry, spo spoilers to those who may not have seen Jessica Jones. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I, I, I just ruined that yes. for you, but like his character. I, know, I mean, uh, exits the shock. Show in the first yeah, that is, that is, yeah, that is not in any way surprising because that's how linear narratives work. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I don't know. know, I don't know maybe he's not actually dead, or maybe he comes back for the subsequent seasons. But like, um, I, I couldn't see how the show could possibly be a success without his character. Yeah, because um, she was all right to watch, but not sustained. Yeah, she's fine. And then, but David Tennant like, was the draw for me. Yeah. Luke Cage was, was, was not half bad in it. I didn't watch the standalone Luke Cage, but he was decent enough in that film. The first half of film? the Luke Cage, yeah, the first half of the Luke Cage show is actually really good. The music in particular is excellent. I mean, it's really, really good. I enjoyed it. And then the second half of the first season of Luke Cage goes comic booky in the worst possible way. Uh, and I say yes. that as a, as a man who adores <laughs> and loves comic books. I, I have so many. Comic yes, books and I, I think I know what you mean by that. Yes. Yeah, it, it's goes great. comic booky. But the first half of it is really good. The first half is very, very good. Okay, I'm in to... Are those still on Netflix? Yeah, I think so. I, I believe so. Because I know they certainly they stopped... Time. Yeah, they stopped production on basically all of them when when Disney Plus became a thing. Yeah. Basically, all of the all of the Marvel Netflix stuff was just shut down because Disney wanted to bring that all back into their own clutches. Which is which understandable, is a, but also still slightly shitty. They have a kick in the teeth for all the. Yeah. They're, they're quite talented people who worked in some of those Marvel Netflix shows, but. Yeah, hey, like, I, I saw do? Yeah, like the first season of. Um, what was it called? Uh, Fighty Blind Man. 
shit, name escaping me. My head's saying Deadpool. Daredevil. Daredevil, that's it. I knew it began with a D. Um, like the first season of Daredevil was really good. Well, how do we... Um, how we, can we second one... Oh, we, that, we can get into... Yeah, we need to... We get into Han. Okay. No, not quite. Uh, this takes us somewhere different. This is a Stormtrooper helmet. There's a Stormtrooper door over to the left oh, here, which I assume we'll learn eventually. Oh, 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 you spanner! You fucking slapped me in the head and knocked the Stormtrooper helmet off. I do it again. I do it again in an instant. <laughs> it's fine. This episode's only... Actually, no, in Venice, I'm thinking of all the technical difficulties in the middle. I was going to say this episode's already lasted 30 minutes, but that's only for us. Yeah. Again, we apologise for the technical interruptions. Like, if only we had access to Quantro, we could have resolved them in but a moment, with its mind-sharpening powers. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, where the fuck was the last um, helmet thing? It seems like we should be able to go through that curtain, but I'm guessing that's where Jabba actually is, is behind the curtain. I think I, I suspect... Pay no attention to the big space slug behind the curtain. <laughs> oh, Wizard of Oz reference, classic. Mm. No, we need to go all the way the fuck back here, unfortunately. All right. I'm worried you'll have to do all that delicate platforming again. I mean, or, I, I am. Oh no, there's a machine here. here, we, go, here we, go. we don't have to do all that. You did like right. I didn't want to point out at the time because a we're in the middle of another. Well, you're in the middle of another point about De Jessica Jones, and also I didn't want to sound really fucking patronising. But genuinely, you did really well navigating all those diagonal bridges, <laughs> which I know are the worst thing for a <laughs> control system that's stuck on cardinal directions. And genuinely, you did well there. But I didn't want to go like, oh, go on, bud, you're doing what? it, because that'd sound really fucking disingenuous. Well, thank, well, thank you, master. I mean, I'm glad I'm improving. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. We've only been doing this for nine and a half hours. Or something like that. That's totally. crazy. Mm. Are we both on, like... Well, what, our last are session? Are we both on, like, stereotypically Scottish drinks? I'm on, like, whiskey and you're on... Tenants. I'm on the Tenants, yeah. Hey, there he is! Pay, pay no attention to the facts oh. behind the curtain. And fucking Bib Fortuna behind them. And there we go. There's, there's Luke. Um, inexplicably, his lightsaber is not there. And we're all dropped into the Rancor pit. Do we fight I mean, the Rancor now? It, like, it, it, it certainly looks as though we do. Oh, there we go, we fight, we fight yep. the Lego Rancor. You're quite right. Oh, he's, he hit me. He hit me right in the mouth. He seems to... I suspect it's not that easy to fight him. He seems to be... He's uh, focusing on me, at least, which is he something, yes. He seems to be yes. impervious to uh, bullets. <laughs> yes, I think... Right, so... My brain's kicking in. You can certainly somehow feed him Gamorian guards, and I think that is involved in how you defeat him? But I really can't remember, so we'll have to find out. Something that, right, something that, that like, I remember... That, that dispenses a Gamorrean guard. Okay. Something that I remember we found okay. bizarrely affecting when we watched um, Return of the Jedi is that the Rancor trainer, the Rancor handler, when the Rancor dies, the anguish in that like side character's eyes, when he yeah. realizes that, like, his I'd one like... true friend in the role is dead, that, that, that was heartbreaking. The... the Rancor's death is also... It, it's... As the character itself, he's it's up there with um, with the cave troll, and it's like it's slightly sad because this is a this is a beast that is not evil. They're just they're just an animal, and so also uh, it's not they never wanted to be involved in that. So it always feels a bit bad for that reason. You mentioned the word cave troll, which of course prompts me to say the following: They have a cave troll. <laughs> They have a key. Do we need to lure him near one of the things and then shoot him? Yeah, uh, he, these these explosive boxes can do him damage apparently. But oh, we seem to have like taken um, one of his hearts away, so that, that's incredible. Yes, I, it was by it was by shooting one of them. If, it was by shooting one of their boxes when he was up close okay. to it. But I think well, we had to if you lure him, if you lure, lure him, him over with him. a tasty. Uh, 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 no, no. I'm luring some. I'm bringing some tasty Gamorrean guards in for him, so maybe that'll do it. Mmm, bacon. Because they basically they are basically pig men. Yeah, they are pig people. That, that's fair. Yeah. Right there we go. There we go. We got him. I don't understand how we hurt him in that situation. Was that the explosion that hurt him? Did don't, I did I do that? Don't don't ask difficult don't ask difficult questions. We did damage. That's what matters. Okay, okay, okay. No, I think pew, pew. you you chuck a Gamorrean guard at him. He grabs it, goes into the corner, and to to enjoy his meal. And then at that point, you blow him up. I don't Aww. feel great about this in so many ways. No, I mean, I feel the Rancor did not deserve to die. I mean, oh, no. poor, poor giant space monster. Look at him, he's kept, I mean, maybe this is descriptive of my level of drunkenness, but he's, oh no, I think we've got to, oh no, we've got to bring the gate down on him, don't we? Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, yep. look, there's, there's two of us. Yeah. Don't make us do it with our own oh, bare hands. I, That's I awful. I, I don't think I can watch. I, I don't want to do this to him. To quote Mitchell and Webb for a second time this episode. Uh, are we oh. the baddies? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, where's everyone else? I can't pull a switch like this. Right, let's go. Oh, okay. no. Oh, All right, I'm getting that. All right, I, three, I, I two, one, one, I can't go. do it. I can't do it. Oh. Oh, oh, no. God damn. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. This is oh. awful. I, it's it? like slapping a puppy in the face. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I, I feel like the worst guy. Just the worst man in the world. God. I think this is the most sustained period of silence we've had on this. I <laughs> have just stru Oh shit, my tech Whoa, tenants. Whoa, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Slave Leia, Slave Leia, yeah, and oh, Jabba's yeah. weird penis tail. That That's fucking awful. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, by Odin's beard, that's just horrifying. <laughs> and you you know I'm horrified, but that, that was harrowing. All of that was harrowing. Yeah, that's a rough, rough end to an episode. This well, is, at least we've got the sail barge stuff next. So. Uh, this is it, isn't it? This, this is the, the bit of the game that breaks us. I feel like we're mm. exactly the right level of drunk to be finishing off this series, but my god, this is going to be psychologically difficult. Yeah. Right, speaking of psychologically difficult, time for me to try a new accent out oh, oh. in the next episode and crawl. We are trying so hard to come up with new Star Wars voices for you, but literally we are at our end. We're psychologically broken, physically devastated, emotionally traumatized. But yet, for you, we will soldier on. Over to you, Doctor. And I'm not even going to try a Star Wars accent. I'm going to try a Scottish accent. Oh, dear God, no. <laughs> See if we can make your genetics boil at the sound of it. I mean, like, uh, th th there's a bit of me that will... You know what? Just do, do your worst. Oh, Go I'm, I'm going to. Now, do I do a ridiculous Scottish accent or do I try and do a serious one? 